My name is Randella J. This poem is titled, The Plight. In this Western world where war is waged, we wear our wounds like warriors. Hearts on sleeves, we wear our wounds like tattoos written across our iris. We see the world in a peaceful violence, yet speak of the world in the ways in which we've been silenced. Like how they erect women like queens, then Mirandize a lady's liberties in a New York minute. Strip you bare of your culture and ethnicity. Tell you you are free, yet criminalize you before you're proven guilty. They treat innocence like business. Breaking bonds, then stock people in cells like product, then trade you when they lose interest. The price we pay in exchange for freedom. The American dream is a war between spirit and sin we've yet to wake up from. This dream is a nightmare for us melanated beings who walk in the light. We are immigrants who left our rights at the borders we crossed. We came from broken land to stolen land, this true nor strong and free, this economic monopoly to commodify me. This land has clouded my vision, clouded my melanin and made me feel blue. Man, they blackmail me with white lies and I'm in search of truth, in search of change, no purple rain. They are yellow belly cowards green with envy. Rednecks would rather see me on gray concrete soulless and empty as my red blood runs towards a pot of gold, a fleeting rainbow that colors the canvas of a 2000 year old genocide. The paintbrush, a gun they use like exercise to run this country. Race is a fundraise marathon that's gotten the world off track. Too many issues to get our reparations back for being black and excellent. They kill black bodies and extract our melanin for medicine. We are lab rats in a social experiment. They put fluoride in our water to make us docile. Chemicals in our food we cannot pronounce. Man, that's the shit we need to keep out our mouths. They use our names as bonds of ownership. So they capitalize our names so they can capitalize on our names. We are modern day slaves in search of freedom. Growing up in the six, when I was seven, I knew brothers that never ate, so they started carrying knots. Like my best friend who started selling rocks and turned them to boulders. He started packing the heat because the waves were getting colder. Now I don't condone selling poison to make a living, but we don't control the drugs that cross these borders into this new war order. Obama succeeded the snakes in the bush, only for America to pull the Trump call where we didn't look. Like a game of president, it's politics. That's why I'm hesitant to vote, just in case they ain't true dough. So I fear the world my children will inherit. I fear the world my children will inherit. So I do my best before they come, before I perish to be the change I wish to see. So I wear my heart on my sleeves, tattooed across my skin on my wounds of this utopia I believe, in hopes of brighter tomorrows. Cause every sunrise a black mother's nature is mourning the death of her son at his wake. Mourning has become a ritual of survival, a coping mechanism, a means of honoring our reincarnated ancestors. Because life and death coexist in the form of faith and breath in the fleeting moment of an inhale. A reminder it is a gift to be alive. Despite the pain tattooed behind my eyes, here I stand. Tattooed across my skin are my wounds, the plight of this African-Canadian man. To me, this poem is an expression of my, my, my challenge of being African and Canadian at the same time. I think being African was something that when I was younger, I was taught not to embrace. There's a lot of things about my blackness that I was taught not to embrace, I was taught to leave behind. And for me, this poem is my expression of, you know, just feeling like, sometimes I feel like I'm an alien. I feel like I don't belong in the world that's so violent and so tyrannical. And it was my expression to the world to just say, you know, life is a gift. And despite all that we go through, it's seeing the beauty in the struggle.